Let's get over to David now. He has some important updates on that tropical storm that's working. Absolutely. It's set to make landfall, Amanda, within the next hour or two down on the Texas coast. And that's not all. After the storm makes landfall through the day today, it's going to come up here to central Texas. That means all of us are under the risk of flash flooding, not only later today, but through Thursday afternoon. Some of us may see up to a foot of flooding rainfall and even more rare LaGrange is in a tropical storm warning for very gusty winds later today, over 40 miles an hour. There we are in central Texas with just some light rain being still a good distance from this storm, but the tropical storm itself is looking better organized. It's stronger with winds of 60 miles an hour and it's only 30 miles from the coast. The first warning weather team is covering every angle of this tropical storm spread all over Texas. Mark Monstrola is live directly in the path in Port Lavaca. Mark, what are you seeing so far out there? Well, thank you very much, David, and good morning, everyone. That's right, we're in Port Lavaca, which is just inland from Matagora Bay. And as David mentioned, that's where the center of circulation is expected to arrive on shore. And within the next couple of hours, as Bill is about 30 miles offshore right now, moving at about 12 to 13 miles per hour. So right around maybe 9 to 10 o'clock, we're expecting the center to make landfall. And we've already had an oil rig just offshore report a 60 mile per hour wind gusts as tropical storm warnings extend from about Corpus Christi up through the Houston area. We've already had some flooding reports around Galveston and we have uh, as a precaution some schools around the Houston area that have uh, been canceled for the day today. Now what's very interesting at least to us here on the on the on the bay now of the Lavaca Bay right on the shoreline here is that first off the surf really isn't that bad. We've seen a couple of waves here and there. The tide is on its way up. High tide is expected to be right around uh, 1 30 this afternoon. And that's a little concerning considering the storm is moving in as the tide is coming up. So storm surge right around two to four feet here along the coast. But it's not just the winds, which really aren't that bad thus far, or the storm surge. It's that major amount of rainfall that Dave was talking about. But we really haven't seen much of it just yet here on the coastline. It's dry right now. Overall, it's a pretty nice morning here but we're expecting things to really deteriorate quickly as Bill makes its way on shore over the next few hours. Just a ton of moisture in the atmosphere for the storm to work off of. Warm waters, 83, maybe 84 degrees, which is why those unbelievable rainfall totals are expected from Bill over the next few days. We're going to have much more here from the coast in Port Lavaca. In the meantime, Mark Monstrola, KXAN News. Let's send it back to you in the studio. Thanks, Mark. We're watching some rain bands that are about to hit your location, so stay, stay safe out there. We'll check in with you in just a moment. Something that's unusual with Tropical Storm Bill is that it actually has a small potential to strengthen very briefly once it makes landfall. Researchers call this new thing the brown ocean effect. We're just learning about it, and while a tropical storm typically needs to be over the warm ocean water to strengthen, some storms can occasionally strengthen over land. They do that by drawing from a lot of moisture in the ground, such as the moisture that we have here left over the May, from the May flooding. Now, the Houston area, just like much of central Texas, is still recovering from the Memorial Day weekend floods. Those storms created widespread flooding from Oklahoma to Texas, killing more than 30 people and destroying thousands of homes. Well, this morning, state resources are on alert and waiting to be deployed once the storm makes landfall. Yeah, the state operations center is monitoring tropical storm bill and making sure people have exactly what they need. So the governor's office sent out a list for all Texans in the path of this storm, reminding everyone to prepare an emergency kit that includes essential documents, supplies and provisions. You also need to plan how all family members will respond in case there was an evacuation and consider any special needs for people with disabilities or the elderly and be sure to monitor the weather for current and anticipated severe weather heading your way. And you know, one way to do that is to keep up with all the weather, weather warnings is just to download our KXAN weather app. It is available for both Android and iPhone users.